CQ, 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 Kilo 5, November, Oscar, November. Kilo 5, November, Oscar, November, Kilo 5, November, Oscar, November. 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 Is correct. That's the FTM 100. Run an APRS in the automatic mode. Just thought I would uh, show some of the APRS traffic here in San Antonio. Since the perception is there's not much. I've been uh, messing with the menu system for a long time. Trying to get it set up. And there's been quite a bit of traffic as far as way as Kerrville coming through. And Ingram. And uh, a couple mobile stations on the, the beacon there. So... Anyways, it should be beaked, uh, beaking, beaconing out here shortly. Got it set just at a 30 second interval for this short test. So I don't have it in dual watch right now. Um, I guess I could put it in dual watch. If you do this, oh, no, nope, switch the bands there. Hold on. If we press and hold, you go to in dual watch mode. And so every, depending on your interval, it checks the, uh, the VFO up here which I don't have it set on anything of useful value right now. Um, but let's see if I can do that. So let's uh, our club repeater. And let's go back there. So now the club repeater is in VFO B. And VFO A is um, the APRS. So what it's doing is it's got uh, the APRS should be in auto beacon mode so that symbol means and uh, every so often it's going and checking the AA502 meter repeater that's when you see it glitch like that so this is it uh, doing its thing and uh, let's see what we get here Our confirmation that we sent out the uh, transmission And the dual watch. Let's see if I hit display, if I get a station list. There we go. We're getting WB5OER coming in. Display their satellite. See so earlier, I hit something. I got the station list. We're getting a nice long one. And like I said, it goes back and it checks the VFOB, so you can still be monitoring VFOB and transmitting APRS at the same time. You're just gonna hear the packet. So it does have a mute option, so. Um, anyways, that's KN5D-12. And um, looks like it's an eye gate, because it showed the eye gate symbol. At the top, oops, it shows the symbol up there. A couple weather stations were in here earlier. Uh, was it KF5WAY was traveling earlier? Got to see his speed. So temperature, ooh, temperature's gone up. From the W5, WB5LJZ weather station. Um, and it's 89 miles away. And the temperature is 79. So um, earlier it was like 74, 73. So. Anyways, I want to, there we go, got another transmission there from WA5LNL, so, as you can see it gets quite busy, another weather station, this one doesn't show the distance there, it's not have a location in. Anyways, there's one YouTube video out there on the FTM 100 on how to set it up 
and he does it incorrectly. So let me show you how to set up automatic um, beaconing. You go to menu 10, and on that video, he tells you to turn the modem on. Well, you need the modem on, of course, because you need to be listening and able to transmit. So he tells you go from off to on. And in that video, he says, oh, that's all you need. It starts starts beaconing. No, that's, that's not. So what you need is to go down to your APRS beacon. I can look at my info, speed, course, altitude. I got all that on. Ambiguity off. We can go back, go to beacon status text. Um, beacon text. So, beacon transmit. So, this is what you need to have on. Right here, menu one. You go from off to on. So, if I turn this off, and I can, you know. Probably three minutes is good. You don't want to do too much because then people get annoyed. So we'll change it back to five. So anyways, I set that to off right now. So when I press and hold the display button and I go back, you see that it no longer has the circle. It has the X. So, um, so it's not going to transmit. It's just receiving. Now. So I believe if I go turn off the APRS modem, I think it will stop translating things. Let's see here. Oh, we've got to rotate down. Rotate back. I never get confirmation, so I just want to double check. Okay, so now we're back here, and you notice that symbol's gone, and we're getting beacons, and it's not putting the information up. It's just looking for the standard FM. And it's still in dual watch mode here. I can turn that off. There. Now we're in off of dual watch mode. So it's only looking at the bottom frequency. And it's not going to translate the beacons because the modem's off. But it's not, also, it's not sending them either. So if we're going to go turn the modem back on. Press and hold. We should see that symbol come back, letting us know our modem's on. And we should shortly be getting, we have a good cl clear signal, some beacon information. So. But uh, earlier when I was reading the manual, we had about three mobile stations moving all at once. And you could send the messages and um, let you know, at least with uh, KF5 WAYs, I believe it said what frequency he was turned to on his other VFO. Um, so I could have went and chatted with him there if I wanted. So, Anyways, it is like 97 and the car is off. So... I'll say 73, this is a K5NON ham radio video, there we go, beacon back on, modem back on, so, somebody's calibrate their thermometers, we got 97 and 91, either way, too hot to be sitting in the driveway in the sun without the air conditioner on, 73, K5NON in the W5INK mobile. Honda Odyssey. Drive safe.